Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create an AWS code pipeline which creates an EC2 instance using the CloudFormation template. I have logged into my AWS management console. First we need to create an IAM role which allows the CloudFormation to create an EC2 instance. Click roles, click create role. So here we need to search for the service CloudFormation, select CloudFormation, then click next. So here we need to search for the policy related to EC2. So let's give the Amazon EC2 full access, then click next. So we need to give a name. So we'll give the name as CloudFormation EC2 role. Then click create role. The new role CloudFormation EC2 role has been successfully created. You can see here. Okay. Now let's go to code commit. So here let's first create a repository. So we'll give the name of the repository as CloudFormation EC2 then click create so now we have an empty repository so let's add the file to it cloud formation template to it create file have the content here so i'm just it's a very simple template so first is the aws template format version we need to give the date and i'm just going to create a web server so it is an EC2 instance and the properties, this is what is the image I'm going to use, which will get deployed on the EC2 instance. And this is the instance type. I'm going to select the instance type as T1 micro. So I need to give a name to this file. So I'm going to give the name as EC2 instance.yaml. Give the author name, email address, then click commit, commit the changes. So now we have added the AWS CloudFormation template to the code commit repository. Now let's go and create a code pipeline. Click pipelines, create pipeline. So we are going to create an EC2 instance using the CloudFormation. So let's give the name as CloudFormation pipeline. We need a new service role. So we are not going to do anything with the advanced settings. Click next and the source provider. Let's select as the AWS code commit. The repository name we need to select CloudFormation EC2. Branch name is main. And then how the code pipeline will detect the changes. It is through the Amazon CloudWatch events. So even you will be able to use the AWS code pipeline but there might be some delay because the code pipeline has to will check periodically for changes so if we have configured for 30 seconds or one minute there is a possibility of some delay in picking up the changes so it's always best to use the amazon cloudwatch events that is what is recommended by amazon as well right and the code pipeline default we will use the default zip format then click next so build is optional here we are not going to build anything so let's skip the build stage right so now in the deploy stage, we are going to use the AWS CloudFormation and the action mode is we are going to create our operator stack and let's give the stack name. Uh, we'll give the stack name as demo stack and then the artifact source artifact and the file name what we have given is ec2 instance.yaml. This file has the uh, CloudFormation template definition. Then the capabilities this is an optional so as part of the template we are just going to create an ec2 instance but in case if you are going to create any kind of an resources we need to select everything and the role name is the cloud formation ec2 role then click next so we have successfully added the configuration for the pipeline let's now create the pipeline the source stage is in progress the source stage has successfully completed. So now the deploy stage is in progress. Now the deploy stage also has succeeded. 
now let's go and see whether our ec2 instance has been successfully created or not let's go to ec2 go to instances so we can see a new ec2 instance is successfully running and it is still initializing so it is the in same instance which got created now let's go and see that information yes it has used the ama id image id what we provided okay and the instance type is t1 micro this is the one which we provided in our cloud formation template okay now let us go again to the code commit and do some changes to the uh, cloud formation template now let's change the instance type to t2 micro the changes has been successfully committed to main so now let's go to the code pipeline click the pipeline source stage has successfully succeeded and the deploy is in progress you will be able to see the aws cloud formation how it is getting executed by getting into the aws cloud formation the demo stack go to the events so here you can see because in this time we performed an update so the update has been completed and here you can see the deploy also succeeded so now let's go and confirm that again in the ec2 instance click the instances so this is the instance right and we can clearly see the instance type is now t2 micro and the same image has been used in this demo we have seen how to create an aws code pipeline which uses the aws cloud formation template in aws code commit and create an ec2 instance using the aws cloud formation template and we validated the code pipeline automation by modifying the aws cloud formation template thanks for watching the demo